So I grew up in the suburbs of Boston in the United States, and at the time the city was undergoing one of the most complicated urban transportation projects ever undertaken in the United States. Um, and I remember when I was about 10 years old, my parents took me to the Boston Museum of Science where they had an exhibit about the project called the Central Artery Tunnel Project, locally known as the Big Dig. And I remember it was the first time I really understood the relationship between construction and science and maths and engineering and that really inspired me to become an engineer. Um, I'm a civil engineer but I'm also an avid adventurer. Travelling inspires me, I love being able to see new places, try new food, meet new people and explore new landscapes. So I think it's fair to say during my time away from work I'm not that far from my backpack usually. I'd say one thing I didn't realise before joining the industry, particularly on the construction side, is how strong the team spirit is. It, it's so amazing how everyone individually has a really, really small part to play. But in that moment when it all comes together to build something incredible, that team spirit and the buzz is just completely incomparable. Civil engineering is just about maths and physics. It's so much more than that, and I couldn't stress that anymore to someone who's thinking of coming into the profession. Obviously, the maths and physics and technical side is really, really important, but there's so many softer skills around that that you need to be a really excellent engineer. And the career's so diverse. You could work on the construction side or in design, or you could work in infrastructure or utilities, on highways airports, like the opportunities are really endless, so don't rule it out just because the sort of maths and physics side potentially scares you.